Okay, so where are we here? Uh, okay, let's keep the let's just keep the show moving along here. So let's move up to Spain or yeah, to Spain now. Okay, and Spain, thanks so much for stopping by and the views yesterday. I'd do a favor to ask you folks today, if you watch if you if you watch the video and you like the video, I need you to click on the like button next to the video. Okay, so let's just keep the show moving right along here. Okay, Spain, let's see what you got going on here, okay? Currently, Spain, you have 6.1 million cases, 89,000 plus deaths. Come down here and take a look at, uh, you know, all you tell people, don't panic with the, with the yearly numbers because there can be some good numbers hidden in the yearly numbers, okay? But nonetheless, uh, Spain, you do have more cases this year than 2020. Now, here's the good news. This is the last day of December. So that means that these numbers, unless something crazy happens today, okay, you're not going to catch the COVID, Spain is not going to catch the 2020 COVID-19 deaths numbers in 2021. So let's just come down and take a look here. Now, okay, you know what? I'm going to perfectly honest. I don't understand that number. How could you have one number like this, this size, okay? Because this was the original spike, okay? And this was, uh, <clears throat> you know, as a matter of fact, uh, let's, let's go down to the next thing. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to cases in the weekly numbers because so, this is one of those cases where weekly numbers probably give us a better picture of what's going on. Okay, so you can see here that uh, on, on uh, February 8th, uh, your, your death spike, Brazil, or Spain, your death spike at 909 deaths for a single day. Then it began to fall down to the, to the mid to low triple digits here dip down and then, and then had a little bit of a, a climb back up and you finished on December 29th with 78 deaths, averaging 89 deaths per day, okay? Okay, well, <clears throat> this didn't help a whole lot, <laughs> but nonetheless, you can see this number down here, okay? You can't see it very well because I, I didn't put a comma in there, but you can see you had this nice declining pattern down around in here, the July-August spike, a big dip, and for whatever reason, you're just seeing this huge climb up here in COVID-19 cases in Spain. I just don't quite understand that. What, what could it, is this Omicron? I don't know. Uh, what about uh, weekly deaths? Well, here's here's the good news, and this is really what I want you to put your emphasis on, okay? On deaths, and you can see here, look at these look at these low declining deaths from here all the way down into here, because this right here, this line right there, is what a thousand. Look at all these weeks when your weekly deaths were under a thousand, okay? All right. And what about monthly cases? Well, again, unfortunately, December is not a good month. December is the, is the highest number of cases for a single month. Well, I don't know, so certainly since uh, January of 2021, okay? So this this is not particularly good news, okay? Let's take a look at deaths again. Uh, look, look how, here's a one, two, three, four, a five-month decline in COVID-19 deaths. One, two, three, another three-month decline. And your, and your, and your COVID-19 uh, deaths, for, for December are, are going to finish well below uh, 2,500, okay? This is 2,500. So that means this here is about 12,000, about 12,000, 12 and a half thousand then. Well below these numbers, well, well below this number over there, okay? Okay, Spain, that does conclude your report for today. By the way, again, if I'm going to ask you that favor one more time, uh, if you like the video, you find it helpful, then click on the like button next to the video, okay? We uh, I really need to get the likes up in order to get YouTube's attention, okay? Okay.
this is a desk concluded report for Spain for today. As mentioned, this is the final report of this year.